checked out uh, the Victorian Inn in Monterey. What a swanky place. We just had breakfast there. They had a pretty good spread for their uh, complimentary full continental breakfast. It was really good. Now we're heading out to Hearst Cast. We're going to drive down 17 mile drive and down the Pacific Highway. Coastal Highway. Should be a cool drive. Alright, we're for some nice pretty sights. Go check it out now. So take your time, make sure you come back down, see the Neptune pool, walk around the cottages and enjoy the sceneries of the coastline. Folks, Mr. Hearst would invite you through the front door. Spanish convent gates over 400 years old. Sorry, we squeeze you through the side entrance. We're protecting the mosaic. <laughs> That's over 1,800 years old. That's where you would have walked in. That's a merman and fishes. Of course, you're seeing it upside down. But you weren't meant to because you are meant to walk in those doors. This is called the assembly room, where you would assemble for cocktails and appetizers before dinner. It's the largest of 14 sitting rooms. Social rooms. Because guess what? Mr. Hurst was entertaining here before television. He'd be glad to know, Mr. Hurst would, that you're continuing his collection. He saw no reason why this shouldn't be a museum of the finest things he could acquire. And he was alive at a very good time to buy these things. Europe needed money to rebuild after World War I. But he did become, with his own efforts, the first media mogul of the 20th century. He owned over 90 businesses, including 28 daily newspapers, 16 magazines, 8 radio stations, produced over 170 films, invented the newsreel, which is a way of getting news in your local cinema theater before television was invented. He owned two news services and comic strips and cartoons like Betty Boop, Popeye, Felix the Cat, Beetle Bailey, many others. And this is where he said he'd rather spend a month than anywhere else in the world. And he'd be happy to hear your questions especially about the artwork because he didn't hire a decorator to pick everything. He chose everything. Fireplace is from France. It's over 400 years old. It's a mantle over mantle fireplace. But Europeans were selling things like this, whether they're architectural salvage, like fireplaces, like Italian ceilings that are over 400 years old. This one adapted to fit the room. It came as individual rectangular sections. The grid work is plaster painted to match the wood and cast plaster. This is a Renaissance style room with balance and symmetry and horizontal lines. We're going back architecturally in time 
to the Gothic period. And the people that made the Harry Potter movies came and studied our dining room before they made the movies. sponsoring a project in the next room and the man who's doing it is in demand all over this country. He has a PhD in history and a master's degree in chemical science, but you'll be able to see what he has done so far. The bright areas are the ones that have been cleaned. Stealing from Spain, it's over 500 years old, we're cleaning it for that smoke damage. And we have a ceiling in the next room that has been cleaned, that took over six years, cost over half a million dollars. The ceiling was actually expanded by about 35% because it didn't fit the room. Mr. Hurst also had artisans that came from Europe to seek their fortune. They worked in wood, metal, tile, stone, plaster, concrete. They could copy something, make it bigger, or make more of them, or cut something down smaller, or all the above, to make something fit, make it work. This is going to be the music room. Obviously, Mr. Hurst changed his mind. He thought of building in the basement a bowling alley. So he did want to entertain his guests. And one way I would imagine most of us are entertained today is by motion pictures. Well, Mr. Hurst had his guests here. Louis B. Mayer and Samuel Goldwyn of MGM. Jack Warner of Warner Brothers. Howard Hughes, the famous aviator, was a guest here, and he owned RKO Pictures. Mr. Hurst produced over 170 films with his Cosmopolitan Pictures. And Walt Disney was a guest here. But they might have seen something before its actual premiere. Who knows, there might have been some world premieres here. The piano in the hallway is from Brussels. The bells in the towers, they're Carillon bells, 18 in each tower controlled at one time by the keyboard. When he died in 1951, Fortune magazine said they thought he was worth about $220 million. The Neptune pool, which is empty, is losing over 7,000 gallons of water every day due to leaks and evaporation. It's in a repair process. It's been empty for about a year. They've been researching for about a year and a half how to repair it. to see all of that it's architecture and the gardens and everything I don't know it was just all really neat it was huge I'd like to do more more tours there we did one of the three we did the grand room tour and that was really cool I'd like to do more eventually one day we don't have time today and we're tired and we got a long drive ahead of us we're just having a little snack right now a little appetizer and then we're gonna head to Morro Bay for supper So we just ate at um, the restaurant called yeah. 
never even know what it is called. To... Something bar and grill. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It had seafood and it was delicious. That's right in the water there at Morro Bay. You had a nice big view of Morro Rock. We saw some seals playing in the water, so that was super cool. That was very cool. Now we're just on our way to Santa Barbara. We're gonna stop at Best Buy and get some like some new. I need some more memory cards for my memories. And then we're gonna make our way to Malibu. We've just taken too many memories so far on this trip, so. So we got a two and a half hour ish drive. Yeah, it's 5:30. It's getting dark. Sun's going down. It looks pretty though. Got a really nice sunset over here. Next stop, eventually Malibu. Hopefully <laughs> soon, <a bit> later. <laughs> Been a long day, a lot of driving. Pretty exhausted. Don't forget to observe the speed limit. Thank you, SpongeBob. That was a long drive. It was like two and a half hours from where we stopped for Morro Bay. We had a little stop off in Best Buy to get some more memory cards. But now we're here in Agora Hills, which is, I don't know, I guess it's pretty close to Mal Mal yeah. <laughs> I guess it's pretty close to Malibu. I don't know. I said we we're going to Malibu, but we're going close to Malibu and we'll be exploring the Malibu area tomorrow. Yep. So I guess it's all technicalities. This is a pretty nice room. It's nice and big. It's I don't know, that looks pretty sweet. I was pretty impressed with this huge open corner over here. Just an extra corner for activities. <laughs> Look. So yeah, a nice big room. Nice big bed. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> oh. Yep, good night. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more videos. We're going to bed now, I'm tired. Tomorrow, Malibu area. See you then.